go. What's good, bro? Hey, yo, what up, Filthy? Yeah, 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 man. Yo, I got a great idea, bro. Fuck, man, every time me and you get together, it's a classic. We gotta do a mixtape. Okay, okay, I think I got something for you. Come through. Travis Vige, aka Filthy Pro, Filthy Productions, sample based producer from uh, Thunder Bay, Ontario. Growing up in Thunder Bay, you know, it was alright. Pretty much like any other city, small little town. All my friends were like making hip hop all day, every day, and like that's all we did, you know what I mean? And I seen them doing it, and I'm like, yeah, that's what I want to do. When I was like probably what 16, I started making beats. There was times where I would just stop for a little bit, you know what I mean? But um, I've been going hard now, probably say a solid five years. I was living in an academy at the time with my ex-girlfriend and 
um, we'd always just hang out there, me and my boy Mike Cern, and we'd just make music in there, and then um, we were like making the music, and we're all like, yeah, we need, we need to have a name, right? You need to have something to go by. And then um, he came up with the idea, Filthy Productions, and I'm like, yeah, that's dope, P-H-I-L-T-H-Y, you know what I mean? And then, um, yeah, and then he, he just kind of stopped doing his thing, and I'm like, he, like I was the one making all these beats and he wasn't even doing anything because he had like a lot of other stuff going on but and then I was just like I wanted to kind of change it up because like filthy productions it sounds like a, like a label or something it's not just like one person because at the time there was two people in filthy productions so what and then I just I was just going with filthy for a bit and then I kind of like I don't know it's too basic right a lot of people have filthy so I just put the pro on the end filthy pro and that's just how it came about man. I grew up in like the punk rock kind of thing, man. Like I was like right into like, I'm not gonna say heavy metal, but more of like a heavy punk kind of thing. And like, I played guitar for like seven years and that made me really musically inclined in that way. But there was a certain time in my life where I started like listening to hip hop and it just took over my whole like, my whole fucking, my whole view, man, on life. Like it put, hip hop, it put me into like a, I'm not gonna say a new person, but like just a different, different feeling man and I just stuck with it and it's gonna be with me forever man, hip hop. What inspires me basically is just other artists man. I see them doing things and I'm like, you know what I mean? Like I wanna, I wanna, if I see an artist that puts out a track or puts out a beat and it's like really, really dope, then I'll be like man, I need to, I need to make something better. You know what I mean? And other like, just everything man, my everyday life, like something, if I'm going through a time, at a certain time in my life, my will reflect in my beats. I interact with other artists who, if they're not in town, you know what I mean, if they're in Thunder Bay, I'll just call them up, be like, yo, problem child, hit me up, man, I got this beat or whatever, just basic, easy like that, but if I'm doing things with like, I got dudes in San Diego, Seattle, like, pretty much all over the world, I got different connects, and that's just like networking, you know what I mean, like emails and sending files through that. All my beats are just, it's all like, there's none that are like better, someone, someone might think that one beat's a hit, and in my mind, I'm like, no, man, it's not, I'm not feeling it. So, like, I, I wouldn't even be able to answer that question, man, because all my, all my beats are hits, you know. That's it. Locally, um, basically my boy Problem Child, because, you know, we get, we're doing that Built for Fail tape coming out. Ever since I met Veej of Filthy Productions, we've actually had really good chemistry together. Everything we touched on happened to be like amazing in its own way, like in its own, like every song we did, like if we were doing a hype song or if we were doing a really deep song, and like depending on the, the crowd we were looking towards or the people we wanted to reach, they would really love that. So everything, me and Filthy Productions have always made really good music. Every uh, rapper needs his producer and I feel as if he's mine, even though he's worked with a lot, a lot of different artists, I feel as if everything we've done together so far has been just perfect. Like, I wouldn't be who I am if it wasn't for him. Like, I actually worked on a lot of tracks together on a CD called Neighborhood Monument. And the CD didn't go through, but a lot of those songs went to all my other mixtapes. And a lot of my fans, like I'll have fans who like a song called Oh No, and I'll have fans who like a song called This, but me and him worked on all those songs together. So it wasn't, if it wasn't for Filthy Pro, I wouldn't be who I am today.